please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hey now, it's your girl Shanita Nicole and welcome to Do Dream One if you're new and if you're already a dreamer, welcome, welcome back y'all, welcome back, welcome, welcome back y'all, welcome back. Okay, today we are going to be turning this car stock into this car stock. I'm going to be showing you how I designed this inside of Canva and we made it with our Cricut. So let's just jump right into the video. Let go. Okay, guys, we are going to be making menus with this 110 pound cardstock by Recollections. This is cardstock paper. It is white. I am going to be designing a cloud with the menu on there. It's for a baby shower, and we're going to be using this cardstock Cricut Maker as well as my HP Office Jet Pro 9015. Okay. I'll also be using my light grip mat for this cardstock project, as well as my scraper. So let me go ahead and show you how I designed it in Canva. Okay guys, so now we're gonna go ahead and show how I designed these menus. Let me duplicate it, and then I'm gonna change the background color so you can kinda see what it looks like, okay? So this is the cloud and this is the information. So I'm just going to briefly show you how I designed this it's inside of Canva. And then we're going to show you how I made it with that card stock. So let me go ahead and make a blank page and change it to be a little bit lighter. I am going to go over to elements. Once I got to elements, I searched cloud. Okay. And then I wanted the cloud to be big enough to be seven inches in width, five inches in height. I wanted the cloud to be large enough to be placed on the charger plate. So I want it to be seven inches in width and five inches in height. Okay. So I like this type of shape. These shapes were pretty cool. But because I knew that it was for a girl and a boy, I wanted it to have a little bit of something extra on there. So this one was cool, but I didn't want it to take away from the actual cloud or the words. This one was actually cool. I could have used this one, but I wanted it to be a little bit, uh, the height to be a little bit higher. But that one is cool. Let me see if I can find the correct cloud that I used. All right, y'all, I found the cloud. It is this one. So what we're going to do is go ahead. And what I wanted was I didn't want it to go all the way around because I didn't want it to take away from the words. I just wanted a little bit of a shadow. So that's something that you have to play around with. So you see how I took that away? And then now I'm going to make this the pink and the purple. So when you're designing for this one, I specifically wanted it to be, let me change the color, the background. So for this one, I specifically, I'm trying to get a good color so you guys can see it. Okay. So for this one, I specifically wanted it to be large enough so I can put all the words on there. Like this cloud would have been too thin. The height wouldn't have been good enough. So I needed a specific cloud. Then I wanted to add a little touch of color. She actually said a white cloud with pink words and a white cloud with blue words. But I added this little shadow of the colors. Okay. So once we actually have that, I'm going to just make it a little bit larger. Okay, so once we have that, you want to check the fonts. So this, when you're designing, you want to make sure that things look good, they correspond, they look professional, they look neat. So the fonts, the spacing, the sizes, all of those things. And then she said she wanted some hot air balloons. So once I got this, I started saying what fonts I'm going to use. I use this font here. And then the Times New Roman there. Okay. So what I did was I just wanted it really simple, crisp, clean, but I wanted it to be cute. 
okay, at the same time. Oh, and just so you know, the sizing of this is 3,000 by 3,000 pixels, okay? So it could be large or small as you want. So I did 3,000 by 3,000 pixels for this particular project. I went ahead and put in menu. And then I went down to a certain fonts I use a lot. And the I believe it's pronounced autography. This is what I wanted to use, okay? So I like this because this could be really cute and it's clear. We all see that it's menu, but it's a little fancy, all right? And that's what I wanted. I wanted you to be able to read it, but I still wanted it to be a little bit fancy. So for the actual food, I wanted that to be classic. I almost used this uh, Aremo, or I don't know how to correctly pronounce it, but oven roasted chicken. Okay. I almost used this one, but I said, no, I just wanted it to be a little bit fancier. Okay, so that's when I got Times New Roman, okay? And that just looks good. As I'm designing, I do want to make sure that I have the pinks that I'm going to be using because you see that it looks completely different when you have the colors you're going to be using. So here you can put each word on a separate line if you wanted to, or you can just press return and type everything out, okay? So oven roasted chicken, Swedish meatballs. I'm just gonna go ahead and speed this part up, okay? Okay, so now we have that there, and now I am officially hungry. I do want to fix the spacing because I want it to look like it's all together. You see that there? You know, those magenta lines are letting me know that it's in the middle. Okay. And once I saw that, I said that looks a little too light. I made it bold so you can see that a little bit. Okay. So now you can see it better. All right. So now that we have that, she actually wanted it to say the menu. And she meaning my friend, the event planner, Nasha. Shout out to you, Nasha. She wanted a little space in between the menu and the actual food. And then she wanted some hot air balloons. So I'm going over to Elements. And I'm going to select hot air balloon. Now with this one, I didn't want all the extras. I wanted it to be very neat, very crisp and clear just so that we can get the point across okay so that was what i was looking for and this one is the one that i decided to get i didn't want those extra nodules on there yep yep that's the one i went ahead and selected the color the same soft pretty pink and then I just went and duplicated it and brought it over. Okay. So that's how I designed it. And then what I did was I duplicated the page and then I went to a blue. And you literally can go, you see right here, once I changed it blue, you can change everything that's pink to blue. It will be everything on the um, actual it will be this too so I don't want to do that so I'm gonna manually just go change everything to blue okay the cloud portion everything and that's literally all I did created a really cute menu so adorable you can select all you can group it so it won't move but that's the only thing I did to create the menu and I thought it was really, really cute. So I looked at the actual blue that I used to make these and this was a little too dark. So we're gonna go ahead and change it to a lighter shade of blue. You can go and change it to a light blue 
you can go to the plus, change it however you want, okay? So it's completely up to you. This is the true blue that I actually used. So I'm going to download it and upload it into Cricut Design Space. It's going to look like this really, really soft blue. See? So this is the actual color. So we're going to go to share. We're going to go to download. It's going to be a PNG image. We're going to click transparent background and then we're going to download these and we're going to upload it inside of Cricut Design Space, okay? Okay guys, we are now inside of Cricut Design Space. We are going to go to new project. We are going to go to upload. We're going to go to upload image. Then we're gonna either drag and drop our file or we're going to go to browse. We are already in menu and these are the two menus that we've already created. We're going to go to open and then we're going to go to, here's the uploaded image. We're going to go to select the image type. The image type is going to be complex. I just always use complex. We're going to go to continue once we're here, if we needed to remove the background, etc., we would. We do not have to do that. We're going to click apply and continue. Once we have the image here, we're not going to do a cut image. We're going to use a print then cut image. Okay. We're going to highlight and select that and press upload. Once this is uploaded, it will go to recent uploads. Okay. So we already have these uploaded. And we're going to go ahead and highlight. Once we highlight the images that we want, they will show up down here. We're going to add to canvas. And these are going to be large because remember in Canva, we had them at a 3000 by 3000 size. Okay. As a print then cut, you see that hazard sign there. It's too large. It's going as a 15 by 11. So this is too large. What we're going to do is go to unlock and then we're going to do the width. Remember, we wanted that to be seven and the height to be five. Once we do that, we're going to press enter. And now it is the perfect size. You can always go to this right here this portion in the corner there i actually talked about my cricut hacks years ago on this page and it shows you how you can change it and then you can go down to blank canvas and then we can change the color of the canvas if you wanted it so you can see it all right and it changed it for both the pink and the blue the blue is hiding behind the pink cloud so now these images are going to be we well, see it changed it a little bit from the width being seven, the height five. Width seven, height five. Okay, so now we both have them. We're going to go to make it, and then we're gonna print these out, cut them out, and I'm gonna show you exactly how we do all of that, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and go to make it. Once we go to make it, we're going to see how it looks on our Cricut mats, okay? This is a print then cut. You want to make sure it says that right here. With a print then cut, you do not mirror the image because we want it to print out like this. And then we're going to load it into our Cricut Maker and then it's going to cut it. So print then cut is just showing you we're going to print it then cut it, okay? So now we're going to go to continue. We know it's going to be an eight and a half by 11 letter page paper we're going to send to printer okay we're going to use our hp office jet pro It's really a 9015 even though it says 9010 we're going to go ahead and print this out i am going to leave that bleed on because i want to make sure you see that little highlighted pink and blue and we're going to use our dialog box we're going to go to print the dialog box is going to pop up here we want our paper type to be heavyweight paper. We're going to go to best quality and then we're going to go ahead and print it out. Okay. We're going to do this for the pink and then we're going to go ahead and send it and do the same thing for the blue. All right. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to make sure it's the correct printer. 
heavyweight paper, best quality, and we're gonna send it to the printer now. All right, guys, so I have the blues printed out. And what I'm going to do is put it inside of the Cricut Maker. I am going to go to, I need more than that because it's 110 pounds. So I'm going to go to Litter Card Stock. And then I'm gonna go to More Pressure. And the screen makes it look different, but it's like a baby blue. All right, so we have it cut on glitter cardstock. And what I'm looking for is a very clean peel. I don't need what cardstock, if it's not peel clean, it can pull paper and you don't want anything tore. So this is a great pull. You see how it pulled right off? It's a good cut. It looks really crisp. I'm gonna turn it over and then I'm gonna take the spatula and just remove it because I don't want these to curl, okay? And it came off perfect with no curl. They're not gonna be curled up. It looks really, really cute. All right? Let's make sure you can see it. It looks really, really cute. No curl, it's completely flat. So now I'm gonna do this to 45 more of the blues, and then I'm gonna do 45 of the pinks. So I'll probably stop and show you the pink. But it looks really good, really, really good. I love it. So of course, I'm not going to show you all 45 of these, right? But like I said, this was for a baby shower and I had to make 90 of these. So 45 blue, 45 pink. They turned out really, really good. And I'm just gonna go ahead fast forward through this. I just wanted to give you an update. I did measure everything. I mean, I did time everything. And to make one of these, it takes about a minute and 30 seconds. So I have to do 90 of these. So you calculate how long it's gonna take, okay? Still on the blue, I still have the pink to go. But I have a little system, so it's going pretty good. Also was um, contemplating, thinking about getting my Cameo, but I can't find the cords. So if I find my Cameo cords, I will be using my Cameo. Unfortunately, I did not find my Cameo cords, but it did take a couple hours. I had me a system, I had my music going, and I was getting these things done. So this was a really good project for me because I found a system. And so if you're going to be selling items, what you want to do is you want to make sure you have a system in place that you time yourself so you won't be rushing that you have enough time to get the project done and then that you put in the time to make the project in your price so if it took you three hours how many um how much an hour do you want so this was kind of like a learning lesson i absolutely love this and i'm so happy that i actually had this experience and i'm happy i can share with you so if you're new and you're possibly thinking about starting a business or different things like that we could talk about it more if you guys like but yeah this turned out really good and i learned a lot of lessons with this Okay, guys, several hours later, they turned out great. I absolutely love them. Uh, Nasha, the event planner, absolutely loved them as well. They went great with the decor. Everything turned out good. And a matter of fact, I'll show you what it looked like. So here are the menus at the venue. If you want Nasha's information, please comment down below. I'll be so happy to provide that for you. Please let her know that Do Dream On sent you. And yeah, so that's a wrap. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, holla at your girl. Please join our Facebook group, Queen Dreamer. We love it over there. Follow me on Instagram, Do Dream One is the handle. TikTok, Do Dream One is the handle. And I love y'all. Did y'all know that? 
I think y'all knew that. Anywho, y'all be safe out there. You hear? Bye. Thank you for your time. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.